So I walked into the kitchen and Brecken is making Christmas crack. <laughs> Didn't tell anybody. She's in here making another family like secret recipe and we only make the stuff at the holidays. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, God. Like this is y'all, this is what I'm dealing with. Anyway, so I'm doing an unplanned impromptu video of how to make Christmas crack. If you don't know what Christmas crack is, trust me, they call it crack for a reason. It is no. This stuff is super addicting. I will show you at the end of the video the actual recipe, but I'm gonna show you how to do it first. <laughs> this is what I'm dealing with, y'all. So all you need are regular. Oh, I look like this in every single video. <laughs> All you need are regular saltine crackers. So take a big old pan, line the pan with aluminum foil, and spray it with um, oil. And then just lay your saltine crackers out end to end until it covers the entire pan. So you need real butter, none of the like, you know, artificial stuff. You need absolute real butter. Put it in a saucepan. Melt it down. Melt your butter and you're gonna add in your brown sugar. This is the secret on how to make Christmas crack. You have to completely dissolve the brown sugar and see how it's just now starting to simmer on the edges? You need this to come to a complete roaring boil. And once it's at a boil, you need to boil it for a full three minutes. This little simmer, y'all will not get it. It's gotta be a complete boil for three continuous minutes and you have to stir it for the entire time. At about this point, is when you start the timer for three minutes. Okay, see how it's all frothy and bubbly? That's what it should look like after the three minutes. Then you take your hot caramel and you pour it all over your crackers. Okay, so take your caramel and just kind of gently spread it out over your crackers until your crackers are covered. So you need to put your pan of crackers into the oven. You have to keep a close eye on it. Your oven is 400 degrees for five minutes. And the caramel is going to bubble. Ooh. See how brown and good it got? Now, while it's hot, take your chocolate chips and just sprinkle it over the top. But you're gonna let the chips melt. You're not gonna mess with them, so just let them sit there for a couple minutes. Okay, so it's been about three minutes and you can see the chocolate chips are melty and shiny. So all you do is just take a spatula and spread out your chocolate. Sprinkle the top with whatever you like. We like mixed nuts, you could do peppermint chips, you could do pistachios, you could really do anything you wanted. Toffee bits, we just kind of go simple and do mixed nuts. And then you're just gonna let this cool. You are gonna be so tempted to eat the crack right now, but don't do it. Pop it in the fridge and let the chocolate set. It's 
so crispy and so good. Oh, I cannot stay out of it. It needs to stay in the fridge just about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, until the chocolate hardens up. And then you can bring it out of the fridge and eat your heart out. <laughs> we ate like half the pan as soon as dinner was over. Look how paper thin that is. The cracker soaked up all of the homemade caramel. crack it's like addicting it's crack don't become a crack addict <laughs> crack y'all I did it again I get all wrapped up in eating the goodies that we made that I forget to finish the video but the Christmas crack we basically ate half of the pan of Christmas crack. And so what you need to do is leave it in the fridge until it's totally set, and then you just break it up and it looks like this. Y'all, the crack. I ate so much crack <laughs> last night that I had bad dreams. I have a thing, like if I go to bed and I've had sweets, it gives me bad dreams. That's how I know I've had too much crack. And that's what went down last night. But just break up the crack, put it in a Tupperware, keep it in the fridge, and you will be addicted. That is why they call it crack, y'all. Christmas crack. The recipe is also listed in the description box below.